Hello and welcome everyone to another small video update on the old world. Today I'm going to be showing off one of the ways you can build a house from scratch. Following that I am going to be talking about the upcoming changes to the map system. So hopefully you will enjoy what I have to show you. Step 1. Gather materials. In order to start constructing your house, you will need to locate and gather the necessary materials for crafting tools and the building blocks of a house, in this case being a stone hammer, wooden floors and walls. Step 2. Crafting. After gathering the materials required, you will have to craft a stone hammer. You will also have to craft wooden floors and wooden walls, which come in sort of kits. These will allow you to place a sort of construction area which when acted upon by a stone hammer or equivalent tool will construct the desired building block. Step 3. Construction. So after you've gathered the necessary materials and crafted them into usable tools and building blocks, it's time to actually start constructing your house. So there is no set way of constructing your house which means that you can basically customize your house however you want it if you want it to be a rectangle or a square or you know how many levels that you want the house to be maybe you want a five-story house you know and you can you can do that all by yourself so there are no initial limits to how a house can be constructed the only limits are that it has floors, walls, and possibly a roof. You know, for those people that might not want to have a roof. Now, I don't see why you wouldn't want to have a roof. Maybe you want to have a fire inside your house for some apparent reason. I don't know. But besides from that, you are free to customize your house however you want it. Maybe you want several beds stacked upon each other for no apparent reason. You're completely free and you are not limited by anything except the building materials necessary for constructing your house. So as I mentioned earlier, I want to take some time to talk about the current map system and what I'm going to implement further on. I'm going to completely redo the map system as it is currently because I'm not completely happy with it. To easily explain how the map system works currently is imagine a sheet of paper and the paper can indent or it can raise up but in the old world you can't really uh, dig tunnels or dig, dig caves or explore dungeons or anything. So what I'm essentially going to do is recreate the whole map system that will allow for these kinds of features. So there are a lot of systems that tie into the current map system. Which means when I change it, there are a lot of issues that will come about from this major change. Primarily, it's the pathfinding system, which has to be restructured a little bit. It's how I do the fluid calculations, how I do the temperature calculations, and also how every coordinate is stored. So it involves a lot of changes, but I do feel that it is a better way of going about it. And this is also the last major change to the code base. So after this, I will be able to quickly implement new exciting features, and I have a lot of them. Now to just give you an example of a spell that might get you a little bit excited, which is a spell that causes a time dilation field. So essentially when you cast it, it will be this area where time either speeds up or slows down. So when people are shooting projectiles or running through this field, they will move at a slower or faster pace depending on what kind of time dilation field it is. Now another example of a fun spell or perhaps an elixir would be something that causes you or your opponent to randomly teleport. So essentially you'd throw this elixir at someone and every 10 seconds for X amount of seconds will teleport you to a random location. Now, this can be kind of an annoyance, but also a fun thing, because it can be an advantage or a disadvantage. It depends if the person being affected by this kind of spell or elixir is being teleported to you or from you. As a finishing statement, I hope you enjoy this video and the future videos to come. And I will see you guys later. Bye.